Hello friends and welcome to our spoken English class. In today's video, we are going to learn pronouns. So, let's it go. Pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that can replace a noun in a sentence. The use of pronouns help us to avoid repetition of nouns. The noun that is replaced by a pronoun is called an antecedent. The pronoun must agree with its antecedent. Let's understand it with the help of the following paragraph. Sneha is 10 years old. Sneha studies in Holy Cross High School. Sneha is tall and thin. Sneha is intelligent. Sneha has many friends. This is Sneha's mother. Note how many times the word Sneha has been used. Repetition of the word Sneha making it frustrating to read. We can write the above paragraph in a better and more interesting manner. Let's read the paragraph again. Sneha is 10 years old. She studies in Holy Cross High School. She is tall and thin. She is intelligent. She has many friends. This is her mother. Isn't it better now? Yes. Pronouns like she, her, avoid repetition in a sentence and make the sentences more concise. Pronouns make our speech sounds more natural. By replacing the nouns with pronouns, it is much easier to read and still make sense. There are different types of pronouns. Personal pronoun, subject pronoun, object pronoun, possessive pronoun and reflexive pronoun. Let's understand them one by one. Personal pronoun A personal pronoun is a word that replaces the name of a person, place, thing or an idea in a sentence. They can be divided into different categories. For instance, I and me, first person singular means the person speaking or the speaker. We and us, first person plural. You, second person singular and plural means the person spoken to or the listener. He, him, she, her, it, third person singular. They and them, third person plural or gender neutral, means the person spoken of. Moving further, personal pronouns are of two types, subject pronoun and object pronoun. Subject pronoun replaces the subject of a sentence. Examples I, you, he, she, it, we and they. Look at the examples below. I am reading a book. He studied hard but still failed the test. She went to the garden with friends. Second type of personal pronoun is an object pronoun. Object pronoun takes the place of the object of the sentence. Examples Me, you, him, her, 
it, us and them. Here are some examples of an object pronoun in a sentence. Give the pen to me. I will call you tomorrow. Mom sang a song for him. The key difference between subject and object pronouns is the effect that they have in a sentence. A subject pronoun is a pronoun that is doing an action in the sentence and an object pronoun is a pronoun that an action is happening to. Possessive pronoun A possessive pronoun is used to indicate possession, ownership, origin, relationship, etc. It shows that something belongs to someone or has a direct relationship with someone else. For example, instead of saying Mona said that the purse was Mona's, you would say Mona said that the purse was hers. This sounds more natural and conveying the same meaning of the sentence without repeating the noun. There are two types of possessive pronouns. Independent pronoun and dependent pronoun. Independent possessive pronoun. Independent possessive pronouns are standalone, which means they don't need to be next to a noun in a sentence for it to make sense. For example, those pens are mine. That's not my book, it's hers. Whose purse is this? Is it yours? Is this room ours? The house is theirs. These kinds of pronouns typically occur at the end of a sentence. Dependent possessive pronoun. Dependent possessive pronouns require a noun next to them for the sentence to make sense. These are sometimes called possessive adjectives because they describe how the object is owned by something else. Look at the following sentences. Those are my pens. That's not mine. It's her book. This is your purse. This is our room. This is their house. These possessive pronouns are depended on the nouns they are next to. Without the noun, the sentence would be incomplete. Reflexive pronoun When the subject and the object of the verb refer to the same person, a reflexive pronoun is used for the object. A reflexive pronoun is formed by the addition of the suffix self to the singular form and selves to the plural form. To simple pronouns such as my, your, him, it, them and are. This pronoun does not substitute any noun or a pronoun from its place in the sentence. Observe the following sentences. Rohan did his homework himself. You made this painting yourself. The dog bit itself. That's all about pronouns. Now it's time to test yourself. Write three sentences with respect to each type of pronoun and send them in the comment section or the email ID mentioned below. We will check them and let you know if there is any correction. Remember, be pro with pronouns as they will help you improve your writing 
as long as you use them correctly thank you for watching see you in the next video do remember to like share comment and subscribe